Uh, my name's David. I'm a casting director based in Sydney with McSweeney Newman Casting. Um, we've been really blessed to work on some really great projects over the years. It means I also get to see a lot of self-tapes. And, you know, if we can find ways to help give actors tools to be empowered in that process, then I think it's going to help us on our end as well. Uh, we've been lucky enough to work on projects, uh, most recently Nautilus for Disney Plus, which goes to where I think November, December. Um, Love and Monsters on Netflix, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, uh, Blacklight with Liam Neeson, uh, The Family Law. So it, it's a whole mixture of things, some smaller productions, some really big productions. I think we need to find ways to demystify what a casting director is actually looking for. Um, I find that actors' expectations of themselves way exceed what we're actually looking for. You know, it, it's meant to be rough around the edges. It's An audition is purely an indication of where you as an artist may take a role. And it, it can never be a final performance. But if, you if the true essence and interpretation of that actor in that role, just giving an honest version of the story, that's always going to shine through. I think the, the business model of casting was changing before COVID and then COVID came and just accelerated that process. Um, but it's also meant that we're seeing actors get roles that may not have actually made it into the room. If you're doing a, a lead role and it's two to three scenes, that's like a 20 minute, 30 minute audition. So there's only so many of those spaces that we can fit in a day. I've, I've been watching auditions at 11 o'clock at night and just gone, oh my God, who is this person? You know, someone that we haven't had access to before, but their agent's gotten on the phone and said, you really need to see this one. And as a self-tape, what have we got to lose? Mm. Um, yeah, we're seeing actors get series regular lead roles that may not have had the opportunity beforehand to, to even have access to the project. So, and that's a really great thing to see. So what we do is the actor will uh, tell the reader, brief the reader on the role, read pitch and tone. Um, the actor will then tell us what their frame is. Um, and then we, we shoot it. And then instead of me coming in straight away and saying what I think, we watch it back together as a class and I say to the actor thoughts and then the actor self-critiques. And... and you know, the days of just being an actor don't exist anymore. Being an actor now is you're a producer, director, you're lighting, you're catering, you're, you know, you're everything. So hopefully an actor through doing this process can kind of feel empowered and actually go, okay, I actually have the tools within me. I just need someone to point those out. And if I can help with that, then that's great.